Thanks again for tuning in. Here are my five reasons why you should invest in real estate. So number one, it's the obvious one, residual income. And if you're not a homeowner yet, say you're renting and you've got some money stashed up in a 401k or you've got a savings account and um, you're thinking of what you can do to invest that money and get it to start working for you. So the number one reason to invest in real estate is that residual income, that monthly paycheck for someone who is renting a home from you or a bedroom. So there are a couple of things you can do to get that residual income. One is you can buy a home and intend to live in that home. So you would qualify for a first time home buyer loan, also known as an FHA loan or a conventional 5% down loan. So the misconception out in the public is that you have to have 20% down. That's not true if you're going to occupy the property as your homestead. So the second reason why you should invest in real estate is leverage and you're leveraging the bank's money to purchase that piece of property. And this goes back to being um, to intending on living in that house. So the first reason residual income, someone's going to be paying you on a monthly basis to live in your house or to be renting a room from the home you live in. The second reason is leverage. If you buy a home and you're a first time home buyer and you're buying this property to live in, you can get into that house for as little as 3% down. There's even some programs called down payment assistance where the bank gives you the down payment and you pay it back over time. So you can literally get into a house for less than a thousand bucks. I've even had clients buy houses and at closing they got paid. So whatever their earnest money was, they actually got that back at the closing table. So the first reason, residual income. If you buy a three bedroom house, you're a single guy, you can rent those other two rooms out to close friends or coworkers, have them pay you 500 bucks a piece, say your mortgage is a thousand bucks, well those two people are paying your mortgage so you're basically living rent free as they're paying down your mortgage for you. That's huge. And when you're living in that home, like I mentioned, the second reason is leveraging the bank's money. So you can get into a house for as little as a thousand bucks, maybe the cost of an inspection and appraisal and um, a home warranty if you choose to have that. I'll go more into those things in a separate video. Um, but the third reason why you should uh, invest in real estate is um, tax benefits. So as a single family home, once you own it, you're able to write off so much on your interest that you pay on the loan and your depreciation and your travel and any repairs you have to do. Now, I'm not a tax accountant professionally or by trade. However, I've worked with enough clients and I've sat down on several meetings to know that there are things you can write off uh, against your income so you can legally pay less money on your earned income. So first reason, residual income. Second reason leverage and your third reason is your tax benefits so the fourth reason i want to talk to you about is actually depreciation so that's your fourth thing um, you can write off depreciation on the house now depreciation can be different depending on the type of real estate you own so if you have commercial real estate basically say you buy a five unit apartment complex a four unit apartment complex is considered single family a five unit apartment complex is considered commercial a multi-family apartment well, you have things such as accelerated depreciation, which is a huge difference. When you buy single family, you're only allowed to write off so much depreciation a certain number of years. When you buy commercial real estate, meaning five units or more, you have accelerated depreciation where you can write off typically a couple dozen years of depreciation, which is a huge, I mean, this can really offset your earned income to where you actually may not have to pay any taxes back. It's a legal way of doing it. So consult with your CPA or tax person to confirm how much accelerated depreciation you're able to write off. So the fifth reason is control. And when I say control, I mean you have control over your asset, right? Um, if your money's in stocks or bonds or things that you can't actually go touch, you really don't have control over it. When you own a piece of property, I can go touch the brick and mortar. I can visually see that the windows broke and I need to replace it. The water heater might go out. So you have control over how well your asset is going to appreciate over time and how you can increase and optimize your cash flow so that your assets become more valuable over time. So those are my top five reasons why you should definitely invest in real estate, whether it's single family or commercial, there's a huge opportunity for both. And if right now you're sitting at work on break and um, you know you've got some money put away, I would encourage you, if you have 20% down, that's the best way to get into real estate. Now, if you have 3%, 5% or no money down, those are good ways to get into it too. 
So 20% down, you're gonna have more cash flow faster. However, if you don't have money saved up, don't let that be the thing that's stopping you from buying a house. I'm telling you this, I can share videos with you of clients I've worked with who have bought real estate with no money down. The bank, they use the down payment assistance program and you can Google these, HUD has them posted on their website and different mortgage brokers can offer you different programs. So no money down means you can buy a $100,000 house, your down payment out of pocket is zero, right? The bank's gonna finance a certain percentage for you, whether it's 3%, 3.5%, 4%. Now with the down payment assistance program, typically the interest rate's slightly higher than what it would be without the assistance. However, it can definitely be worth it for you. Now the separate closing cost that's associated with the purchase it's called closing costs, right? So what the bank's gonna charge you for a homeowner, the bank's not charging for the homeowner's insurance, but they're collecting it up front. They're gonna collect so much property tax up front. And those closing costs, it can be negotiated that the seller of that property you're buying can pay for all of it, a portion of it, um, or none of it, right? It just depends on the agent you have negotiating for you. So trust that was simple. So you can get into a house for literally almost no money down. I've had clients who didn't have to spend anything at closing, they actually got money back buying a house. If you're curious to learn more about that, send me a message, click my subscribe button, I'm gonna continue to educate you, watch the next video I have posted. Um, remember, I'm Jaime with the Aguillon International Group, I am your wealth building realtor. I'm based out of San Antonio, Texas, I have a network of agents all throughout the country and in different parts of the world. So if you don't live here and you need help, reach out to me, send me a direct message, follow me on my social media platforms, I'm super grateful to put this video together for you. I trust it is helpful. Reach out to me. I'm telling you, I've helped hundreds of people do exactly what I'm sharing with you. And I'm looking forward to continue to see you grow and continue to share my videos with you. And 2020 is the year of clear vision. Stop blowing money at the clubs. Stop buying expensive clothes and shoes and jewelry. Buy your luxuries last. Purchase assets that are going to continue to pay you until they're paying you enough that you can comfortably go buy the luxuries. Thanks for tuning in, have a blessed day. Talk to you soon.